Hello, um, Godspeed. This is the practitioner again, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry uh, major, mathematics minor, magician, um, parapsych researcher, and um, well, I've already said about my other stuff. Um, as I've, I've already debunked your dice video, but uh, well, not really debunked it, but uh, said why, where, how I want it tested in the future, just to make sure that it isn't trickery. Um, as for your uh, ring video here. Um, I've noticed something. Um, I noticed that when you moved it, uh, that it did appear for the first little bit at any rate. Again, near the, near the ending w looked pretty good. Near the ending did look pretty good. But um, there are a couple of possibilities I can think of. Um, number one of which is the fact that the ring is partially magnetic, uh, sorry, partially metal there on the outside. And I noticed that we didn't see the back of your left hand. Um, that would be a possible spot. That coupled with loops would be very effective in being able to move a ring. What you need to do is that for the first bit where you were moving your right hand, um, the ring moves along with it for loops, but then of course as it gets to a certain point and you can't move your hand anymore, you just simply claim to focus when in reality what's actually happening is you move your left hand just a little bit and the pull from one ring um, and the pull from, um, from the magnet could push the ring in a certain particular way. Um, I've done this before with moving pens that'll actually move in the opposite direction I intend it to uh, from the magnet if you get it just if you get it, the magnet and the piece of metal you're trying to move it just the right position anyway so that's my thoughts uh, again show the back of your left hand and um, just to verify that you're not losing using loops next time um, uh, another possibility would be to um, well actually no I'll explain that on your other video uh, when I do the debunk on that one anyway um, Again, please do show the back of your hand, um, trying to replicate this technique just to make sure that we're not uh, checking magnets here or anything like that. And um, other than that, keep it up. Um, who knows, you may actually have telekinetic capability. I'm open-minded to the idea. i just like to see further evidence. That's all.